Welcome to the getting started video of Corona Render for ARCHICAD. This is a testing alpha version of the plugin, which is not yet ready for production use. See our forum to download the plugin and get more information about the development. We are also looking forward to your bug reports, suggestions, feature requests and other feedback on the forum. When the plugin is installed, it adds a Corona menu to the ARCHICAD menu bar. To render with Corona, open the rendering dialog from the menu. To start rendering, click the Start button. The window that has popped up is the Corona Virtual Frame Buffer VFB, that displays the current state of the rendering. Corona is a progressive renderer, which means that it can improve the image for as long as you wish. By default, it renders forever, so we must stop the rendering here. However, we recommend that you set a rendering limit in the General Settings tab in the Rendering Settings. You can limit the number of passes, the rendering time or the requested level of noise. Let's limit the rendering to 10 seconds. We will also enable denoising, which will improve the quality of the rendered image. Now we can start rendering again. Even when the rendering is finished, you may edit the post-processing options in the frame buffer. The most important option is the exposure, which modifies the brightness of the image. Corona also supports interactive rendering, which immediately reacts to any modifications to the camera or to the model. To start interactive rendering, click and hold the Render button and select Start IR. The rendered image is automatically refreshed when you move the camera. You can also zoom into the rendered image using the mouse wheel. Let's use an HDRI texture for the sky. By default, Corona uses a realistic sun and sky model, but this can be easily changed. Select the Scene Environment tab in the Settings. Disable the default sun and change the sky to use a texture. Click the Text button to edit the texture. This is the Corona Texture Editor. Select a bitmap texture and pick a file. Click OK. The interactive rendering now displays the HDRI sky. We may also need to adjust the exposure. We can do it in the frame buffer or in the tone mapping tab in the rendering settings. This is all about rendering. Now let's move on to materials. The materials of elements are determined from their surface settings. The Corona materials extend their ARCHICAD surfaces, so they are edited in the standard Surface Settings dialog, which is located in the Options – Element Attributes menu. Let's modify the surface settings of the roof element. We can pick the surface we wish to edit from this combo box. Every renderer in ARCHICAD has its own set of material parameters, so we need to select Corona Render from the drop-down menu. The Corona material contains a set of properties that correspond to the physical properties of the material. The properties are initialized from the basic material, so, for example, the diffuse color matches the color of the surface in ARCHICAD. We can of course modify any of these values. The modifications are immediately visible in the interactive rendering. Every component has a level, which is a number that multiplies the constant color or the texture value. The constant color is used if no texture is specified or if the texture is transparent.
we can edit any texture by clicking on the text button. A preview of the texture is shown here. We can modify the type of the texture in this dropdown. By default, the diffuse component is initialized with the basic texture, which is the texture used in the basic ArchiCAD material and visible in the default viewport. Let's change the texture type to checker. We can change the color of the tiles by clicking on the colored box. The material with this texture is immediately updated in the interactive rendering. The material preview in the surface settings dialog is also updated when you select the dialog. To modify how the texture is mapped to the surface, use the texture placement box. By default, textures are placed in the same way as their parent textures, or as the basic ArchiCAD texture if there is no parent. We can modify the mapping by selecting the mode. We use the UV coordinates, which are defined by ArchiCAD for every element. The parameters of the mapping can be changed here. When we are done, click OK. Now click OK in the Surface Settings dialog to confirm the changes. You can use the lights and lamps from the default ArchiCAD library and they should work fine. However, we also support specialized corner lights, which can be added as GDL objects. You can add corner lights using the lamp tool. At the moment, the GDL object is located in file corona.lcf, which is installed with Corona. When you create a new project, this file should already be included in the library manager, but with the existing project, you may need to edit manually. Open the library manager, click Add, and find the file corona.lcf on your computer. Go to the directory where ArchiCAD is installed, then go to the directory with the ArchiCAD library, and the corona.lcf file should be here. Now close the library manager. The file corona.lcf should now be available in the lamp tool. Select the corona light. You can see the parameters of the light in the panel on the right. Let's keep the default parameters and place the light somewhere. We will also disable the sun and the sky so that we can see the light more clearly. You can move the light like any other ArchiCAD element using hotspots. You can also change the dimensions of the light using the hotspots. We can increase or decrease the intensity of the light in the settings. You can also use other shape for the light, such as a rectangle. That's all for today. Please experiment with the plugin and send any suggestions, bug reports and feature requests to our forum. We are eager to hear your feedback so that we can release a full version of the plugin as soon as possible.